G'day people, this is Roscoe here, we are on the uh, Brisbane River as you can see behind and um, Ortel brought out a firmware update to get rid of the uh, shaking on the light and light plus and uh, from what I've heard it doesn't um, occur with all the aircraft but just on the odd odd few um, so there is now an update um, that has been released to negate that issue so we've got that issue so we've got the uh, the light here and I've also got the, um, the light plus I've updated the, uh, the firmware doing the IMU and uh, compass calibration just to uh, sign off on the aircraft being okay and uh, let's go flying and see if the shaking is still there see any shaking. Can you see the shaking? So I've sent that uh, drone out over the other side of the river and flown it a couple of those with circles and so on. Apparently this uh, shaking has occurred with some aircraft whereby when you're coming in at a lower altitude it starts uh, shaking when it's down near the ground a bit like this. Um, but, uh, for me I've got the light plus and the light. The light plus I didn't have that shaking whatsoever but this guy, the light, I did and it usually occurred when I came in, came in from a distance to about this height and we'd start you know, shaking like this. You've probably seen it on um, some uh, group pages. But as you can see, um, that firmware update uh, has sorted out that shaking. So that's a light. Let's um, give the light plus a try. Here we are again. Now we have the light plus. I didn't have any problems with this aircraft uh, with the shaking before but I've done the uh, firmware update anyway and we'll take it for a flight. Here we go.
flame the uh, the light plus around a little bit just to uh, shake the uh, the dust of it, and um, we'll bring it in now. So this guy, that guy, doesn't have the shaking either. So it looks like the uh, firmware is working well. Anyway, signing off. <laughs>